Hey you, I um, thought I would do a side-by-side -side experiment using this very popular Berkey, which is a water filter system. Um, and it's revered by a lot of people in the truth-seeking community as a, a way of purifying some of the silt, the dirt, the poison from our water supply. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with my budget water distiller. Uh, right off the bat, I mean, this is a nice looking piece of kit. Obviously, you fill this here with water and there's a series of filters through which the water flow. And then there's a tap, which is quite handy for uh, your drinking water. Um, one of the advantages of this is that you're not running any power, so you can use this anywhere. Uh, and it will take some dirt out of the water. And the question is how much dirt out of the water. We all know that the water distiller is going to give you pure water um, with a very, very low uh, particulate reading. It's the dissolved solids that we're trying to get out of the water. And I have with me a handy TDS, which is a, a meter. Um, for measuring resistance in the water, measuring particulate, and I find it to be quite accurate. I'm going to do, I've got three glasses here, so I'm going to do tap water, Berkey, and distilled. Um, I've cleaned these glasses equally well. I don't have any uh, intended bias here. I'm just going to show you what the evidence is based on based on this now. I've come across a few people who use these, swear by them. Uh, in fact, the lady who owns this one said, you know, she um, she uses it because it, you know, it cleans uh, her water supply um, and removes toxins. However, feels the need that the minerals, some minerals that are in the water, uh, she's a nutritionist actually, so some of the minerals in the water are essential. So I asked her which minerals would be essential and she couldn't answer that because she doesn't know. And of course we can't really know what minerals are in our water unless we're able to do a proper um, chemical analysis. And it is my contention that, uh, you know, the minerals like magnesium and other uh, products that we might find in our drinking water, um, typically they print them on the outside of the water bottles. These are inorganic. And inorganic is essentially a stone, it's a rubble, it's dust. And your body really wants the magnesium and others in an organic form, as far as I can tell. Um, some people, and I do it sometimes, add a little bit of salt to the distilled water um, to allow for electrical discharge within the water and improve the um, absorption or the body's ability to uh, use the water. You know, there's a lot of debate about that, but I won't go into that right now. This is really just about doing a, an experiment to see how well the Berkey stands up against the distiller. And all distillers, I mean, although this is a budget one, all distillers pretty much do exactly the same thing. They create steam, they cool the steam, and it drops out of here into a catcher. Um, one of the things that troubled me on a previous um, excursion where I came across one of these was that the kettle, I don't know if we can see it here, but this is the same actually. This, this kitchen's kettle, you will notice has that ugly calcite buildup, which um, I suggest they probably use their Berkey water for their kettle. But this is what I saw on a previous uh, excursion was that there's all this buildup which you will not find when using the distilled water. It will clean the kettle, it will clean the dog bowl, and it will clean your insides. Anyway, without further ado, what I think I will do is start with, let's start with some tap. Get a bit of tap. Cold water. Doing a coffee enema this morning. So we wanted to know that. But I recommend that. That's that's tap number one. 
And let's go with the Berkey. Number two. There you go. It is a very handy uh, thing. As I said, it's, you know, you can use it anywhere. There's no juice charge. I mean, this, I think I estimate it costs about somewhere between 60 and 80 pence per four liter cycle. Uh, it's cheaper than buying bottled water in the shop, yes, but it does add to your electric bill. There's no doubt about that. Um, and of course, in this day and age when electricity is becoming so overpriced, um, I can understand why people might balk at this. But anyway, here's my um, Cara from the last run. I haven't done anything to this. This is just my normal business as usual, distilled water. Okay, and I use a glass catcher, preferably glass. This one came, as it was a budget one, it came with a plastic catcher. It is BPA free, but um, I prefer using the glass one, which was with my previous distiller before this one broke down. So again, one of the, one of the drawbacks of these is that they are electrical components. Things can go wrong and then replacing it will be 100 to 200 pounds. This one I think only cost me 80, but that's, that's the ballpark. Okay, um, so this is the what's called the TDS meter or total dissolved 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 solids meter. I will just expose the probes. There are two little probes on this um, in the end here, which run a charge, and then it's the resistance between those two that is um, used as the as the tool. And we can start with the distilled water. Because I believe it's going to be the cleanest. We'll start with the distilled. And turn it on. Oh, it would be great if the battery ran out today. Oh, there we go. Can you see that? Zero. So we're going to pop it in the distilled. And then try and get a reading from that. Okay, there you can see the reading is... 002 parts per million. Okay, that's not 200, it's 002. Uh, there you go. Sorry. Excuse me. That's 002. That's distilled. And therefore, this is still nice and clean. Let's put it into the Berkey water. Oh. Two six four, two six three. Hmm, that's not a good reading. I have to be honest with you. That would, that's really what tap water often comes out at here. Yeah, we'll have a look at the tap. Yeah. So what are we going to settle in at? Just jiggle it around a little bit. 270. Ooh. Okay. Look, I'm going to settle at two, 269. Hmm. 269. Give it a moment. I really, I'm not trying to do pull any kind of fast magic tricks here. This is exactly what I'm finding. 266. Okay, that's the tap. It's not as bad as some taps. It's normally 270, 280. Uh, bottled water normally bottled water comes in 300 330 something like that <clears throat> just go back to this one yeah so we had 269 and this is sitting at around 260 which would suggest that it's taken just a few percentage points of the dirt out really just a few parts per million i, I don't understand that, I mean, people who are supporters of the Berkey might say that this is um, indicative that the filters are not um, in good order. And I'd accept that. Um, but, you know, this calcite that we see surrounding the, uh, the taps, uh, even this tap actually has got it on. I can show it to you there. You know, there's, there's this ring of, of, of calcite that's built up here from the drip, drip, drip. So... That's kind of makes you question why you would do this if it's only taking out, you know, 
six parts per million, seven parts per million, it's almost it's almost pointless. Two six five. Okay. And we're getting up to two six nine if it, but that's I'm wow. Well, I am in the Berkey water and it's really not looking that good for Berkey. You know, and, and if you said, oh, well, it's taken out the five parts I didn't want. Well, it's up to 270 now. It's taken out the bits that I didn't want. You don't know that. You, you, there's no way of determining that, that it's taken out just the fluoride or something like that. You can't tell that. In fact, the smallest things are likely to have passed through. Let's go, let's go back in here. This is the tap. Okay, so 270. Really, there's not a lot between them. That's where I'd... Now I'm going to go back into the distilled water. This is carrying a little bit of dirty water in it, so it may go up by one. Yeah, okay, now it's settled back again once I washed off the, off the dirt. So, back to two parts per million, which I'm quite happy with. I, I, don't, I don't expect it to be zero. I haven't used the sterile glass. Um, you know, and uh, and one of the, the the final stage on the distiller is uh, it has a carbon filter in here, and that carbon may carry a tiny particulate uh, with it. So there you go, friends. That's that's um, pretty damning. What? Yeah, that's pretty damning. I I don't really know. I was going to do a a test where I I. I fill this with Berkey water and then run the distiller to see what would be left inside because I've just given the, the distiller a clean inside and it, it's not perfect um, but you would be able to see the difference once I'd run a run a cycle if it's got that many parts per million in it it would look pretty foul in here by the time I was, I'd run four liters out anyway so that's I mean I you know I don't really enjoy the idea that I'm destroying uh, this company's credibility but if you're serious about drinking clean water then it does seem to me like this is a waste of your time and money uh, it's much better to invest in something like this purified water or distilled water um, has a it's recharged it is brought back to life it is no longer still still means dead um, and and this is living water so they call it distilled water this is as good a water as you could possibly get, get as far as I can, I can tell. I hope that's useful. I'll uh, put a link to a distiller uh, that you could buy. Um, it is a more expensive product. Um, but of course, there are more, more uh, budget options available as well. Cheers.